Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer May 2023 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights of this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer Index declined sharply this month. It was down 19 points compared to last month. That leaves the index five points higher than it was a year earlier, but it is 54 points below where it was two years ago. The index of current conditions and the index of future expectations were both down this month. Current conditions were down 13 points compared to a month earlier, but that leaves it still 20 points higher than it was a year ago. The future expectation index was down 22 points compared to last month. That's three points lower than it was a year ago. The Farm Financial Performance Index was also down this month. It was down 17 points compared to a month earlier when the reading was 93. The index is now five points below where it was a year ago and 50 points below where it was two years ago. The Farm Capital Investment Index was also down. It was down six points compared to last month, but that leaves an index up just two points compared to it was a year ago. The index is now 28 points below where it was two years ago. When we followed up with producers who said now is a bad time to make large investments in their farming operation, two-thirds of them cited rising interest rates and the increased prices for farm machinery and new construction as the primary reasons why they think it's a bad time to make new investments. For the fourth month in a row, we asked producers what they expect to see happen with respect to prime interest rates here in the U.S. Compared to prior surveys, more producers say they expect no change in interest rates. But 59% of producers still think interest rates are going to rise over the next year. And in a related question, 40% of respondents expect this spring's bank failures to lead to some changes in farm loan terms in the upcoming year. Farmers' short-term outlook for farmland values declined this month. The short-term farmland value expectation index declined to a reading of 110 compared to 123 last month. And that's 25 points lower than it was a year ago. The longer term index, however, actually rose a little bit. It was up three points compared to April. That leaves that index down four points compared to where it was one year ago. Looking more closely at farmers' short term outlook for farmland values, the percentage of producers expecting farmland values to decline actually rose from 14% last month to 19% this month. And the percentage expecting values to actually increase declined from 37% to 29% this month. For the second month in a row, we asked producers what they think the likelihood is of Congress passing a new farm bill in 2023. This month, just 33% of the producers think it is at least somewhat likely that a farm bill will be passed by the end of the year. That's down from 40% that felt that way last month. When we asked producers what the most important title is in a new farm bill, 48% chose crop insurance, followed by commodity programs chosen by 25% of the producers in this month's survey. In a follow-up farm bill question, we asked corn and soybean producers whether they expect to see PLC reference prices for corn and soybeans to remain unchanged, increased, or actually reduced. 45% of the producers in this month's survey said that they expect to see PLC reference prices raised in the upcoming farm bill. That wraps up the highlights for this month's survey. The full report is available on the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer website, which is available at purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can get even more details on the barometer with respect to our podcast, which is the Purdue Commercial Agcast, available at purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.